In this video, I'm going to set up Serial EM for data collection. Open a navigator window if you do not have one open already. Open the column valves and press search. Next, navigate to a grid square near the center. And run rough eucentric. After rough eucentric completes, collect a low magnification montage. Navigator menu. Montaging and Grids, set up full montage. Ensure that Move Stage instead of Shifting Image and Use Search Parameters are checked. Press OK. Save an MRC stack and press OK. Navigate to the proper project folder and save the file as lmm.mrc. Once the Start button in Montage Control Panel is enabled, press it.
Click yes to add the map to the navigator. Zoom out and look at your LMM. Determine the grid squares or find the grid squares you'd like to collect on. Add points to them using the add points button. Click stop adding when, don't, when done. Create a polygon around the largest square you have selected. The polygon tells Serial EM what size to make the media mag montages. So using the making one around the largest square is useful. With the polygon created and selected in Navigator, go to Navigator menu, Montaging and Grids, Setup Polygon Montage. From here, click Use View Parameters in Low Dose and make sure Move Stage instead of Shifting Images turned off and press OK. MRC Stack, OK, and save the MMM file. The software is centering the stage in the center of your polygon. Next, add acquire tags to the points you have laid and or add additional points. Now that your points have acquire tags on them, use navigator menu, acquire at items, parameters for mapping, and make sure that the primary action is acquire and save image or montage with make navigator map checked and rough use centricity every item is checked. Verify that your montages will be saved to the correct file and then press go. The software will move to each point with an acquire tag run rough eucentric and then collect a map and save it as an item to the navigator. Press OK when Serial EM has finished collecting the media mag montages. Review them by double clicking each one in the navigator. You can delete the green polygon to keep things cleaner. Next, we need to set up our multi shot parameters. To do that, Open the LMM and navigate to a setup grid square. Setup grid squares are dry grid squares with obvious holes that you would not be collecting on. This one in the center is a great candidate. Once the software has navigated to that position, run rough eucentric. Press view and center a hole.
Once you have a hole accurately centered, define the focus position. With the hole centered, define position of focus, put it in between, that looks good. Reduce the defocus for view to a value between zero and minus 20. Adjust your hole centering if necessary. Now open the Multishot Parameters dialog box. Navigator, Montaging and Grids, Set Multishot Parameters. With that open, we are going to do records in multiple holes. Check that box. The pattern for the last grid will appear. You now need to define the new pattern. Place four points one in each corner of the three shot pattern using the add points button. Now select the top left box point and in the multiple record setup dialog box Press four corners of regular pattern. With the first point in your group selected, press image shift to nav point. This tells you that you need, it will automatically move to the next point as long as they're in the same group. Press OK. Save image shift. Press that again. Save image shift. IS to nav point, save image shift. IS to nav point, save image shift. Once that is complete, your three by three multi-shot pattern will appear. If you need to adjust the position of any of the points, lay a new set of four or use edit mode to adjust them. If you are going to do multiple records within a hole, you can set that up and see one of our multi-shot videos. For a normal three by three pattern, once this is complete, you can continue. Make sure that adjust beam tilt and astigmatism to compensate for image shift uh, is calibrated. After you've defined the four corners of your multi-shot pattern, you can increase the defocus of view back to its original value. Press OK to close the multiple record setup box. Now we will be finding holes on our grids. Double click your first MMM and open hole finder. Navigator, montaging and grids, find holes in regular grid. Input the two inputs. For hole size, Measure the diameter of one of your holes using shift and left. For periodicity, measure the inner hole spacing. So go from the center of one hole across to another. Do not go diagonal. Type those two numbers in. and now press find holes. The hole finder has found all of these holes. Since they are cyan, they are being excluded. The excluded toggle box is right here. We need to adjust the sliders to select our points. Pink is selected. So these points are now all selected, except for the ones in the periphery, which is OK. I'll adjust this slider, so the majority of them. And these ones here that, have, that are not being selected have too much transfer contamination in them. Uh, so that's done right here. OK. And then I'm going to make navigator points. Then open the multi-shot combiner. Navigator, montaging and grids, combine points for multi-shots. OK. 
combined points for multi shots. And then in same group as current point, press combine points. Now these positions have been optimized for multi shot. If I click show acquire in Navigator, you can see where everything will be. To process the next media mag montage, move your group of points under the map it corresponds to, double click the next map, and then press find holes. If you have an area like this where you have issues, first thing to try is change this maximum error to, error to 0 0.1. That didn't work, but we're going to continue and start our run. And now I want to start my run. So check a few things. Checking this. Check this. Target to focus. Press OK. Navigator. Acquire at items. Final data. Run script LD. Skip stage move to item if possible is selected. That's OK because we have realigned an item in our script and press go. DM will collect a dark and collection will begin.